Before you can start sending any notes, you need to have some contacts in your contact list. One way to get contacts into your contact list is by importing them, and you can import what is called a CSV file. CSV stands for Comma Separated Values, and just about every application has a way to export its contents as a CSV file. Whether you're using Microsoft Outlook or Gmail or Yahoo for your email, or maybe you're even using some sort of customer management system, almost guaranteed that they'll have a way to export the contents as a CSV file. In this example, I'm going to go to my Google account, my Gmail account, and in Gmail, in my contacts area, I can export my contacts. And your software is pretty much going to be the same way. Look for something that might be like file and then export, something like that. In the case of Gmail, I have these different groups that I've already grouped my contacts into. And if I want to export this test group, what I'll do is I click this more button over here and I just look for the word export dot dot dot. Again, your software will likely have a very similar situation where you can click file and then export and it will ask you what type of file that, that you want exported as. Choose a CSV file. In this case I'm going to choose CSV file for Outlook or any other application and I can select all of my contacts or I can just select a group. So I'm just going to select this test group and I'm going to click export. And what you'll notice is this file gets uh, downloaded to my default download folder and if I click to open it by default a CSV file usually opens up using Microsoft Excel if you have Excel on your computer most likely your CSV file will open up that way and what you want to do is if you have not already done this already is you want to go through and remove any contacts that you don't need so if there's certain contacts that you don't want to be sending the Papa notes to come in here and be sure to delete them and you'll notice in this spreadsheet here from Gmail, I have a lot of extra columns that I will never need, okay, that we'll never use. In a Papa note, you can only import four columns, one being the first name, one being a last name, one being an email address, and one being a group if you're using that. So we'll never use these columns, but I can leave them here. You notice that my email address is way over here in column O, and my first and last name is over here, you know, starting with column A. If you make any changes to your Excel sheet, or excuse me, to the CSV file, right? So if you make any changes, like deleting names of people that you don't need, etc., after you make your changes, you just want to make sure that your file stays saved as a CSV file. So if I say file save as, and I put it somewhere, I just want to make sure that it remains as a C CSV file. If you're using Windows, your save as is going to look a little bit different, but just look for CSV file as one of the options when you actually save your file. And in Windows, pop up a warning message to tell you that you know it's not an Excel file and that's okay. You want to make sure that it stays as a CSV file. Let's go over to Pop Note, to my contacts area. And I want to click Import Contacts. And I want to click Choose File. And now I'm going to browse to that file that we just created with that export. I'm going to click Open. And now you'll notice that the file name appears here. So I'm going to click Upload. So this is the spreadsheet, remember, we don't need a lot of these columns. So uh, what I want to do is I want to identify what each of these columns are. It so happens that this spreadsheet is pretty easy because it has this row that already tells me what these columns are. But your spreadsheet might not have a row. So you might have to kind of eyeball this and decide, oh, this looks like last names. Okay, so this must be the last name column. So I'm going to call that last name. And maybe you can eyeball this and say, oh, these are definitely first names. So I want to call that first name. Remember, Papa Note doesn't have a field for middle initial. So we're just going to bypass this column altogether, or middle name. Papa Note doesn't have a field for title. All right, so I'm going to bypass that. And what you also notice down here, there's this little scroll bar, because your CSV file might be very wide. And remember, we saw in that spreadsheet that our email address was way over on the right-hand side. So I'm just going to scroll this and to the email area and I see that yep this is my email column so even if I did not have this header doesn't matter if I did not even have that header I can tell that this column is email addresses so I'm just going to identify this as the email column I can only identify one email column and notice over here my Google account has a space for an email two and even has a space for email three what you would want to have done already is cleaned up your email addresses and make sure that they're all in one column because I cannot I cannot have two columns identified as email. I can only use one. 
I have to leave the other blank. I've identified my email address column. I've identified my first name and my last name column. This very first row, again, this is a header row. It's not actual data. We don't need that. We don't need to pull that into Papa Note. So what I want to do is I want to ignore that. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click ignore first, meaning ignore this first row. In other words, don't pull this into the system. Now I'm going to click import. And these names are going to get pulled in to my contact list. You see them over here. Now, the contact list, you can actually sort by clicking these headers. For example, if I wanted to sort these by first name or email, I can just toggle the column up top here. I can also sort them by create a date. Maybe I just uploaded a bunch of addresses that I didn't mean to upload. And if I wanted to delete them all, I could sort by the created date to find those addresses. Now, the other neat thing about this area to help you organize is there's these checkoff boxes. If I click this checkoff box, this top window will open up. And now I can control many at a time. So if I wanted to assign these contacts to a group, for example, of course I would have already had to have created groups, and that's another topic altogether, but if these contacts were all part of uh, a group that I called current prospects, I would just toggle this, and I would add all those contacts to that current prospects list. If I wanted to select all the contacts in a row, I just click the select all link, or if I wanted to deselect them, I click deselect all. Papa Note will always deduplicate addresses, so it won't pull in the same address twice. If next month you've got a new group of contacts or a new CSV file that you want to import, follow these steps again and import a new CSV file and update this contact list with your latest subscribers.